Hazel Sky is a Brazilian third-person adventure game that offers a unique story interpretation and a semi-open world for exploration. The game is very creative and original in every way. Nothing that happens is irrelevant, the dialogues are very well elaborated and the story is exciting, as well as its soundtrack. For those who want to test the game before buying, there is a demo version available on Steam. The game was made by the Brazilian studio Coffee Addict, the same studio that developed the Dark Souls Brasileiro, called Blade and Bones, released in 2017. The game has two endings, the normal ending is found if you keep playing normally and the secret ending is found after doing what the book Brown Witch prophesies. Plot The floating city, called Gideon, is in need of new engineers. Shane is the protagonist of the story, and Flynn Casey is his father and the right hand of the 23rd engineer, which is the highest job in town. The city finds itself with few engineers and a new revolution of artists and beggars is emerging, who are carriers of the plague, called Art. Flynn takes his son to an island called Sierra to make him an engineer in practice, as is family tradition this island is also known as the Case Family Cemetery. However, for Shane to accomplish his goal, he must be able to return to the floating city. History Hazel Sky is very different from the games we are used to seeing nowadays, as it has a very mysterious and captivating narrative as we talk to Aaron, a young woman who also ventured into becoming an engineer and Shane's only company. The dialogues with her are extremely interesting, which holds the player's attention and makes us want to play more to find out what is actually happening. The game's progression boils down to fixing the three machines and getting back to Gideon, and throughout that process is where the narrative unfolds. Fixing these machines consists of a to-do list. The narrative is so brilliant that I'll give you an example. During one of the conversations with Aaron, Shane mentions that he likes music, however, Aaron is unaware of this word as if she doesn't know what music is, she still gets it wrong, music. Another example is when Aaron wishes Shane luck but Shane says he shouldn't believe in luck because it's not an engineer thing. These types of conversations make the game extremely interesting. Another tip is the following, always listen to the radio news until the end, so that you are aware of the things that are happening in the city of Gideon, and that are relevant to a greater understanding of the game's story. In the first few minutes, we found the corpses of Shane's family members who failed the tests or dropped out, no wonder the island is known as the family cemetery. What will hook you and make you want to read all the books and notes in the game is the mysterious factor that the game instigates. As you saw in plot, it is not very common to send relatives alone to an isolated island to become renowned engineers on their own. In the books and collectibles, we find many stories and details that help to understand this world, so it is highly recommended to read this, as well as the secret ending. After reading all the books and notes, we became more curious about this world. All collectibles can be accessed at any time by pausing the game in the gallery section. Gameplay Hazel Sky has simple gameplay, you can swim, jump, grab and hang on things and collect items. The character's movement is very consistent, Shane moves in the direction we want in a very precise and pleasant way. In some moments when there's a guitar around, we can play the note we want, some can be played in real life if you know the right chords, as well as the beat. There are full songs scattered around the map in collectible form and when you hit the chords of this song, the character starts singing and playing that song. As the main character of the game's objective is to become an engineer, the game boils down to completing challenges that will take you to the next island. But for that, it will be necessary to repair the plane or balloon, which will allow this trip, but to repair the plane, we have to explore the island in search of resources and materials that allow this. In other words, to get these materials we have to do a series of objectives, like looking for a key to open the door or picking up objects to get parts for the plane. This whole puzzle is fun to play. Don't think it's repetitive or tiresome, as the way this game does it is varied and satisfying. With each object collected you will have a feeling of reward and you will receive interesting information. Graphics and Ambience the graphics are cartoonish and you can see the affection and attention that the developers had with this game. In fact, the graphics are artistically beautiful, everything is very colorful, and it even seems to have a life of its own. Since the game takes place mostly on islands, 
everything needs to be very nice and beautiful, as nature is. The radiant colors of the sea, sky, sun, sand and trees combined with realistic sunset lighting makes the game much more immersive and enjoyable to watch. All this accompanied by an excellent soundtrack. It is no wonder that the translation of Hazel Sky is Hazelnut Sky. In addition to the beautiful setting, we found some animals as well. Most of the fauna is found in the sea, and fish, jellyfish and sharks are found when diving in the beautiful ocean. On the ground, we find seagulls, bison and cows, which you can even feed them. Soundtrack and Dubbing After playing for about 5 minutes, you can see that one of the focuses of the game is the music. Over the course of history we find that music has a greater effect on the character than we initially think. The soundtrack fits perfectly into the context in which the game takes place. They are very melodic and relaxing songs made on an acoustic guitar, which is perfect to listen to on a tropical and pleasant island. The voiceovers are perfect. It seems that voice actors were born to play these characters. Problems and bugs. During my experience I could witness some bugs that were uncomfortable. There are some invisible walls that prevent you from crossing to the other side. But this happens with small structures, like two bushes, for example, or maybe it's even an intentional barrier mechanism, but it should have been done with larger objects, to make that clear and feel more realistic. I've also seen physics problems, like when we leave an object on the edge of a structure and it doesn't fall to the ground, and instead floats around. Still, in two moments I tried to dive into the sea, but instead of the character floating, he kept walking underwater, as if he were on solid ground. Anyway, there were some small bugs that are visually ugly, but that don't interfere with the experience of those who are playing. Another perceived point is that the characters' faces are a little strange, as they don't have much facial expression, which generates a certain discomfort, but it is acceptable. These issues and bugs can be easily fixed through updates. But even so, I emphasize that nothing that was found will spoil your experience or compromise the gameplay. Conclusion this game is incredible, it has beautiful and well-made graphics, a fluid gameplay, in addition to many other qualities that I have already mentioned and explained throughout the analysis. It's very difficult to say what its main factor is, since everything in the game is equally great. It's a great game, highly recommended, that everyone should play. Final Grade, 9.5 Review written by Gabriel Capuani and published on the Revolution Arena website. The game was played on PlayStation 4, from a copy of the game kindly provided by the producer, and all images and videos were captured during gameplay. Say what you think in the comments.